Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaud RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm going to do a walk around video today on a Jayco Eagle 330RSTS. There's a sofa in the back, triple slide. This is a luxury liner. This is a luxury bumper pull Jayco travel trailer. In my estimation, it's the most luxurious bumper pull that you can buy out there, and I'll show you why. I want to point out a few things on the outside before we go on the inside. You'll notice what I wrote here on the tongue, it's auto level. So you don't often get auto level on our bumper pull, but you do on this guy. Push button leveling, all right? No more jockeying around with leveling blocks and so on. It all happens right here. How handy is that? Notice behind the uh, twin 30 pound propane bottles, we have a generator tray, which can be used for storage if you don't have a generator. Uh, you can put a ton of batteries in here. If you want to go nuts and get a whole solar array, you can load this up with batteries in here, but it's also built to accommodate a generator if you choose to add. And if you don't do any of those things, you have a, a ton of storage up here. Notice the nice marine grade LED lighting up here, the courtesy lights in front, and then this marine grade uh, band right here, which is really, really a neat feature. Again, if you're looking for luxury, but you just don't want to go up to that fifth wheel level, you don't want to navigate the steps, which are almost always uh, synonymous with a fifth wheel going up into the bedroom or perhaps the living room, you're, you're flat from front to tail inside this coach. So this has the same luxury appointments as an Eagle fifth wheel, but now we're at a bumper pull. This is luxury all the way. Nice pass-through storage with magnet catches up here that really keep the door up, right? Even in windy conditions, that thing stays up there nicely. So we have motion sensor lights up here that pop on. Your arms are full, you're loading things. The last thing you want to do is fumble for a light. This way that light pops on as soon as uh, it senses motion in here. Love that. Nice, clean utility bay. So all your hookups are right in here. They're easy to get to. Notice we can route all of our cordage through here and close the door completely because this, this entire area under here stays heated in the winter time. So we can close this door, keep everything nice and clean. It's important to note that this unit, all the Eagles are warranted for full-time RVing. A lot of manufacturers will not warrant your coach if you're living in them, staying in them full time. Jayco does, you get the full two plus three warranty even if you're full timing. That's pretty significant. Two plus three, three years on the structure, two years on all the components inside. So the water heater, the furnace, the air conditioner, the appliances, two full camping seasons of warranty is a great industry leading warranty. Notice that we have side marker cameras. So we have the full observation system on this unit. We have a rear facing camera in the very back and then we have side cameras. So you hit your turn, your left turn signal, you're gonna see straight down the left side of the coach which is gonna eliminate all the blind spots. Nice safety feature. Little bonus storage here that you don't often get in a bumper pull. So not only do we have the big pass through storage up front, nice big cavernous uh, storage here. You know, things that aren't too tall, bag chairs and camping supplies, what have you. Of course, power cord, direct spark ignition, water heater here, furnace vent, typical stuff that you see on these. Uh, I don't mean to rush through some of these things, but I also don't want to be too repetitive because many of you see in my videos over and over. I'm happy to drill down more on the technical aspects of any of these, but I want to point out some key features for those of you that are just kind of shopping floor plans. Again, this is with Eagle 330 RSTS, right about 40 feet long, right about 10,800 pounds. So it's not a super lightweight. It's loaded with luxury. You need a, you need a pretty decent truck to pull this. So um, if you're wondering, can I pull this thing? The first thing we should do, if you don't already know, give me a call or come in. We'll look up your truck specs and determine exactly how much you can safely uh, tow. Um, if you're gonna go truck shopping, then you'll know exactly what to buy. That's, the, that's job one. And we can access the back of the residential refrigerator. 
used to be you had to pull the refrigerator out from the inside to get to anything to do any kind of maintenance uh, procedures. Jayco makes it easy by putting a door right here so we can access the back of the residential refrigerator should we ever need to. Rooftop ladder here, uh, vacuum bonded fiberglass walls. I talk about the vacuum bonding often. Uh, Jayco pulls 144 tons vacuum for 16 minutes on these fiberglass walls, which virtually eliminates the possibility of delamination over the lifetime of the coach. That means this thing retains its value. In fact, Jayco retains its value 5 to 8 percent more than its nearest competitor. Higher resale value means better value for you. Nice awning that's attached to this slide out room and then also you have a long awning here on the rest of the patio. Bump both of these guys out and you've got about 30 feet of awning patio covered area out here. So again, we're at a campsite. This is where our picnic table is going to be. This is where all the action happens. It's all going to be covered with our patio. We have a J port right here. You're starting to see these in Jayco's. It looks like a hitch receiver, which is basically what it is. Well, what is it? You can put a blackstone griddle in here. And underneath here, we have our propane connection. So you can use that propane connection for any grill, actually, but they make it easy to pop uh, a, a blackstone griddle mount right in here. And now we have the blackstone griddle under the covered portion of the patio. How cool is that? We have speakers out here integrated into the sidewall. We have a courtesy light, which you can't see right now because it's daylight, but it's a nice blue light that casts a blue light under these steps. So when you're coming back late at night, it's just a nice courtesy light so you can uh, safely navigate these steps. Speaking of the steps, these are Moride Step Above Steps. Four steps. They're not big. Uh, you know, maybe you don't have long legs like I do. These are short little steps. It makes it easy to get up in the coach. It's also easy to lower them and raise them. There's zero gravity. So see, it's not going to come crashing down on your head when you're trying to raise it uh, or lower it. These are all adjustable. So if you're on uneven ground, you can adjust these to the uh, slope of the ground. When it's time to deploy it, I'm sorry, stow it for travel, like so. When it's time to bring it down, lower it, boom. Got a nice grab bar here, which pops out of the way when, uh, when you're traveling. Makes it real easy getting in and out. Again, we're on the Eagle 330 RSTS. RS, I guess that's rear sofa. TS is triple slides. We have a, basically a rear living area, triple slide. Three slides means we have opposing slides somewhere in here. Really opens up the floor space. So let's uh, floor space. So let's go inside and have a quick look. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. Okay, now we're inside the Eagle 330 RSTS, and I want to point out the BM Pro control panel here. This is a touch screen. Touch it to wake up. All of our controls are right here. If we go to home, we have climate control, lighting, the motors, the tanks, and energy usage. So let's just say we want to adjust the climate. It's just touch screen. Touch up or down to adjust the temperature. Open this up more. This is our main AC. Scroll it over to the second AC, which is in the bedroom. Control it the same way. Cool, heat, high, low on the fan speed. Go over here to this droplet. You can check all of your tank levels. The little gear uh, icon are all your motors. So your leveling motors, slide motors are all controlled here. The little temperature guy is of course climate control and then the lighting is has infinite number of uh, dimming settings so all you do is touch it drag it one way and then once you have it to where you want it leave it there now every time you turn it on and off that's how bright it's going to be so if you look back there in the living room say I want to have it about that bright that's what it'll always be when I turn it on say you want it real dim just pull it down real handy now everything that you can do from this you can do from your phone. 
put this BM Pro app on your phone and now you can be outside, run the slides in and out, run the levelers up and down, you know, climate control, lighting, everything you can do from your phone as well as right here. Super handy. So let's take a look in the living room first or the main part of the coach. This is gonna feel like a fifth wheel with the exception that in a fifth wheel, you're, you're going up steps into generally the bedroom area. See, we're straight floor all the way back. So maybe you got knee or hip problems and you'd rather just have a flat floor, front to back, you've got it here. So now from here back, this is gonna look a lot like a lot of fifth wheels that you'll see in the Jayco line but you're immediately struck with what feels like a luxurious condo. This just feels like a condo. It doesn't feel mobile homey, all right? I like Jayco's appointments. Um, you know, look at, look at this substantial crown molding in, in the, uh, the slide room. This just feels high end, literally feels high end to the touch. It doesn't feel cheap or plasticky. Also in this unit right here, you got 21 cubic feet of refrigerator bliss. Yes, right here. Nicely lighted, easy access. How nice is this, man? This is just fantastic. You've got all this storage uh, for those long camping trips and the convenience of ice and water in the door. See these Velcro strips? It's a pretty simple way to make sure this guy doesn't come open during travel. Very handy, very nice. We have lots of counter space with this island floor plan. You see these often. This is a little pull-up power stick. So you have USB charging here, household current here. When it's time to travel, release it right there, and it's out of the way. A lot of people notice this but don't realize what's going on here. This is plumbed to a five-gallon water bottle that's underneath the island here. That means you're cooking and drinking purified water. Instead of having to bring, you know, two cases of the little bottles of water and take up storage space or take up your refrigerator space, you have that bottle of purified water under here. And you can bring an extra bottle um, from big box store or swap it out, Crystal Springs, wherever you swap out drinking water. That way you know you're cooking and uh, drinking purified water. Not only do we have all this countertop space here, but we have countertop space right in here as well. This is very nice space here. Turn the light on there. So we have coffee pot over here, maybe a blender, a toaster, and get it off and, and save this uh, space for, uh, for other things. Plenty of storage underneath here and a nice pull-out drawer. Again, 75-pound drawer glides, full extension drawer glides. Uh, Jayco's cabinet build quality is on display here. These are solid maple cabinets, not OSB or particle board with tape on them to make them look like real wood. They are, in fact, real wood. Talk about flexibility and engineering. I love this. If you want this to be a little jacket closet, there you go. You can hang garments in there. If you want it for storage, pop this down and now we have a shelf in here. Deep storage up there, nice storage under here. Coming around to the cooktop area, we have a three burner cooktop, propane cooktop of course. This becomes your backsplash. Nicely backlit controls here for your three burner cooktop and a nice little oven. Again, lots of storage here, full glide, full extension glide, drawer glides. So why is that important? One of my pet peeves, you get an RV and the, the drawer comes out that far and you're reaching back here to get stuff out. Look, all the way out, easy to get to. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is when you get, this is full of silverware and junk the top drawer always collects all the stuff now this thing comes all the way out it's a simple thing but in the end it makes using this rv a lot more enjoyable just one of the many small things that jaco thinks about nice big pantry notice the light popped on when i opened up the door and these are all adjustable shelves so say you've got a tall item under here these are completely adjustable take this out adjust these things up up and down any, any kind of way you can use the space in here and adjust it to meet your needs. 
really like that. Now we've got the fireplace on for effect, not because it's chilly in here. Again, why do we have a fireplace in an RV? Hey guys, this is a, f a fancy space heater, is what it amounts to. So I uh, feel like a broken record here, but you know, if you're in an RV park and you paid your 60 bucks a night, use their heat source, their power source to heat your uh, RV instead of your own propane. Looks pretty neat too. Turn this thing on, turn your uh, central air unit to just fan to circulate, and now you can distribute this heat throughout the coach. Notice we have JBL sound system. This is a giant leap forward. JBL is known for its uh, audio quality. We have three different zones. One of the zones is going to be coming out of these speakers only. The second zone will be speakers in the overhead uh, mounted in the ceiling of the coach. And then the third zone will be out on the patio. Of course, you can pair your phone to this and stream music through this uh, as well. Now, back here, we have a trifold sofa. So if you do have guests, you have the ability to convert this into sleeping for your guests. It's super easy to do. I'll show you how easy it is. Pull this out, lift this up, pull out, pull this out and this out, drop that down, drop this down, Boom. How long did that take me? Not very long. And now we have a bed and there's no metal bar poking you in the middle of your back in the middle of the night. So you can feel good about having your guests sleep on this because it's actually very comfortable. And look, I can access it from either side, right? So plenty of room to navigate around this. Uh, your guests will be very happy. When it's time to convert it back, pop that up, lift this up, this goes in, this goes in. There's that, your back cushions. Boom, were you timing me, Brian? Five, 10 seconds. Five, 10 seconds. Easy, 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 and I did it myself. Nice recliners here right across from the TV and the fireplace. Right here's a little pull tab. Reach down in there and give it a tug. Perfect viewing angle for the TV and the fireplace there. Notice uh, on either side of the sofa, that little green light, means there's a USB charging port right there. So you're sitting there. Who doesn't need to give their phone a hit, right? After a long day walking through the Magic Kingdom at Disney World, I need to charge my phone. Boom, right there you go. There's one on either side, and there's also a regular plug-in there as well. Notice there's uh, ductwork right here in the floor. What's that, and why is it in the floor? This has a gas propane furnace on it. This is a four season coach. It's much more effective to run that heating raceway through the floor than it is through cabinet structures on an RV. Think about it. If we want to distribute heat through this whole thing and you don't want the ducts in the floor, those ducts have to live inside that island or the cabinetry. That may means those ducts are making all kinds of turns to get to where they need to go in the coach. With these, right where it should be. You want the heat on the floor too. So when that heat comes on, it does a nice job of keeping this coach comfortable. There's also power right here behind the uh, island. So again, if you have coffee maker or blender up here, uh, power right here. Nice backlit uh, picture frame here. You can pop that out and change it if you don't, but you know what? Most people like that eagle. Now on our table, again, we have our nice secret storage under here for games and pens and pencils and paperwork and RV maps and all those goodies under there. If you want to expand this, simply pull this out. Now we can seat four people around this table. And you say, Mike, I only see two chairs. I have a solution. There's two more chairs under the bed up there. They look just like these, but they're folding chairs. So they're going to be upholstered just like this. Notice we have more little secret storage here. The other two chairs are folding chairs, but they're upholstered like that. Now we'll have four chairs here for our guests. We have a little remote control gadget looking thing here. So we have ceiling, pennant, um, dinette, and then all exterior lights. It's handy just a short reach away to uh, control the lights if you don't want to get up and uh, use the touchpad or maybe you don't have your phone handy because you can do all that from your phone. 
This is kind of a neat thing. Lift this up and now we can see who's coming and going. Somebody knocks on your door from the RV park and says, hey, checkout time was 10. You can look out there and see who's knocking on your door. And I love these light fixtures. How about that? When I first saw these, I thought, man, I hope these hold up because these things take a beating back here. But these, these are great. These are LED light fixtures. We haven't had any problems with these. Very classy and high-end looking. Moving to the back of the coach, we'll take a quick peek in the bathroom, which is very, very spacious and a lot of counter space up here. Again, sometimes counter space in a travel trailer can be pretty precious. A lot of room up here and notice we have nice backlit uh, medicine cabinet behind here. So it's nice lighting, uh, very nice shower. So again, I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room to maneuver here. I'm six feet tall, so a tall person can easily take a shower in here. You got a, a, a little bench right here. Ladies, you can shave your legs and can sit down here, pop this off. So very nice shower, has a high end feel to it. And notice up here, we've got these new vents. So this already has a vent uh, cover on it, so it won't rain in should it come up, come up a rain. So where's the switch here? Right there, so the vent's on. You don't have to worry about covering this vent. It's already integrated in the vent structure. Very, very handy. You gotta have a place for this, right? All right, now in the bedroom. Woo, look at this nice king bed. We have, uh, power supply on either side so easy to charge your cell phone storage up above the bed but talk about storage how about this for storage holy mackerel look at that and these little pull out drawers this is like high-end cabinetry all the way around love this now if you wanted to have a washer and dryer in here you can have the split variety do a dryer on one side, washer on the other. These motion lights aren't on, so turn those on. If you uh, wanted to have a combo unit, washer dryer combo, it would sit in one side and then you have the other side for storage. If you prefer the split units, which many, uh, myself included, feel work better than the combo units, you'd have dryer on one side, washer on the other. So you have flexibility, however you want to use it, or if you don't want either, you get tons of storage, not only hanging storage up here for, uh, for clothes and whatnot, but shoe storage and folded items back here. Love the amount of storage. And then of course we have a, sort of a shallow drawer dresser here with six drawers. So um, all my stuff, goes in here and then uh, my wife gets all of those so it works out good for us right. just kidding Susan not really TV up here above so laying in uh, laying in the bed you have a nice TV up here connections up above uh, notice how noisy it's not the AC is on high right now this is what Jayco calls whisper quiet because it's whisper quiet. It has to do with the way Jayco does the ducting system. It's a double helix. So instead of making right angle turns, it's a helix. It does sort of this kind of a thing. We're pumping a lot of air through these uh, ducts, but it's not noisy. So you can lay in bed, watch a movie. We can have a conversation. I'm not having to raise my voice just so you can hear me. I've got this lapel mic. Hopefully I still do. And I'm standing right under this duct and it's on high. It's a little bit warm today, so we have the air conditioner running. That's huge. Uh, one of my pet peeves with previous RVs that I've had, not Jayco, were how loud the AC units are. It's fully ducted. The AC unit lives up on top of the coach. So all we're hearing is a little bit of air movement through these. Now you can adjust all these. You can close it off completely. Maybe you don't want air blowing on you at night simply close it and close all of them to, to whatever your preference is. So you can open them up and then you can turn them around. So maybe you want it open, but the air blowing away from the bed. 
maybe you're a hot sleeper and you want the air blowing on it now I'm pointing the air straight down there however you like you'll be happy a little extra storage compartment up there again we're in the Eagle 330 RSTS this isn't a small trailer but it's huge on features this is a luxury liner if you're looking for luxury and you don't want to go up to a fifth wheel maybe you don't want to mess with a fifth wheel hitch you want to leave the bed of your truck open for bicycles and a gas grill and what what have you maybe you want to have a topper on your truck and just have that for entire uh, for storage and not have a fifth wheel hitch in it this might be the answer because this has all the luxury appointments of an Eagle fifth wheel, but it's in a bumper pull. Again, it's the Eagle 330 RSTS. Love this unit. If you'd like to learn more about it, give me a call. My name is Mike here at Vaught RV. Make sure you click like and subscribe so you get notified for more content like this. And keep an eye out for my how-to videos, RV Quick Tips with Mike, which is your number one how-to source for all things RV. Thanks for joining me. Check back here often. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vaught RV.